Hello guys, it's I, Oji. Um, Want to do a really fast, <laughs> no, a really quick and dirty video uh, today because I've been seeing a lot of Reddit posts about how people might feel powerless, they might feel like their effort doesn't contribute, contribute a lot uh, in the war because they feel facilities are overwhelming and they take too much effort. Um, I think personally it's, it's very much people um, overbuilding and making things unnecessarily complicated. So I just wanted to show my clan's facility because we've downscaled it a whole lot because we don't want to burn out. And here you see one of my lads filling up fuel. Um, and that's my main point actually uh, for this is we have two tanks here of fuel that'll last 40 hours. So you can skip a day with this setup. Basically when it's in uh, standby mode we only need two megawatts of power. That's two out of five, right? And with the two tanks, it can give those two megawatts for 40 hours, basically. And of course, those two megawatts go to the tunnel network, which we only have one off, which is why we only need uh, two megawatts. And the whole facility here takes 50 garrison supply an hour. So, very much outproduced. You make we make a uh, hundred and sixty an hour. So even if this turns off and it doubles our rate, we would still only be using a hundred an hour. So being at nine hundred, that would be nine hours that we can still run back to it and you know, uh, refill it, rebuild it, uh, refuel it before we would have to start repairing anything. Uh, so that's really my my main point is make a facility that you can spend thirty minutes refueling on basic diesel we want to use diesel because the fuel density in diesel is way higher you, you have uh, the same amount of cans right but diesel has a hundred liters in it and you have 400 cans whereas petrol you also only have 400 cans but it's only 50 liters so you have twice as much fuel in the same amount of space it's really dumb <laughs> um but that's how it works uh some people are gonna say that's energy density? No, it's it's the volume. I don't understand. Listen, it's not supposed to make sense. Just understand that it's much more efficient to use diesel. You can store uh, more diesel in the same amount of space. You have to. That's about 40 hours of runtime uh, for a standard uh, diesel power plant. And here's the nicest thing. We were considering expanding because we could and we can sustain it easily. I mean, it still would still be just a single one for two tunnel networks. But the nice thing is, if we come over here and see that we have this materials factory, and you can see that we have almost 6k construction materials, and that's after producing a lot of equipment. That is because, even though we only have one that actually are, is supposed to be used for making construction materials, we can run it overnight. And it has no additional cost. This is how you should be as a solo logi player doing your logistics if you want to do facilities make it so you can have it run overnight where you don't have to actively go get petrol constantly so you just run it on diesel overnight you make a ton of construction materials you can have 32k salvage in a single materials factory and that's enough for 22 hours if you run it on the basic production line right so you can come in, fill it up, go to work, go home, go in, 30 minutes spent on getting fuel, spend an hour, maybe two hours filling this up, then you can do something else. You can make sure you take care of the kids, or if you're not that kind of person, if you're like me and you don't have a family yet, you can go to the front line, you can go get coal for tomorrow, or you can play a completely different game and still contribute right and if you know all right so i know i'm gonna go to work and tomorrow i'm gonna be off early or it's the weekend or whatever so i want to start making something really useful that is when we have this extra uh diesel power plant and what we do is so we have 40 hours normally we turn both on obviously that halves the amount of time we have fuel for to 20 hours but for me i have quite a few days where I am off early, 
Uh, so I can put it on running when I go to bed. Then I can sleep for six hours, go to work six hours. So I'm up at 12 hours. I can come home and I can still have eight hours left for refueling this. And if I turn off one of the power plants, I'll have 16 hours for refueling and getting it back up. Which means overnight, we made 500 120 mil. And we could have made more if I just had more explosive material, right? It's an explosive material is really easy to make. So when people complain, I often see that they have a lot of tunnel networks or uh, they just they want to power everything all the time. Keep in mind, these things run when you log off, all right? And another really smart thing from this little train here, I can access most things, right? So I don't have to travel that far with my train to access everything. Most of the things that I can access, I can access both the resource container and the facility without having to move. And that is just really neat. We have designs where it's literally just a piece of track that is the same length as the train. Then every building is just wrapped around it and you just use the little train for fast, uh, fast move of any item. It doesn't always have to be this grand scale of things, even though I know that is sick AF. But if you if you feel like you can't, like it, if it feels overwhelming and like you can't keep up, maybe try and think about having a smaller uh, facility, right? I mean, you can make it even smaller than this. You can make it so small that even if this turns off, It'll still run itself and keep itself alive for a full day, right? You just have to get down to like 25 garrison supply. And you can, even then, you can still make 120 mil. Our facility not only makes 120 mil, it also makes components. And it makes, uh, almost makes rocket trucks, right? So... Don't be scared by facilities, but make sure to scale it to your ability and make sure to use these tactics of, I'm only going to run this many things and have this many things affected by my tunnel network so that I don't have to pour as much time into maintenance than I would with a larger or more needlessly complicated facility. Anyway, uh, I hope that helps someone from not getting burned out I don't know. Um, if you have any additional questions, please put them in the comments and I'll do my best to try and help you all uh, get your best experience with Foxhole. Hi, uh, just two quick notes. One, have you heard about Foxhole but for Hearts of Iron? It's amazing. There is a link in the description. We really need programmers and artists right now and we would love some help. The other thing is that I've been quite sick and that's why there hasn't been that many videos. But it should be over now.